morning show. I hear the guys are gonna be here in just a second. In the meantime, we're gonna show you guys this trailer of the Mortal Instruments City Bones. Don't forget, in theaters, August 21st. Take a look at you guys. What'd you guys think? All right, without further ado, are you guys ready? of the Mortal Instruments, I want to bring out Kevin Seegers, Kevin Bauer, and Lily Collins! But she's okay now. She's okay now, just in case anyone's as concerned as I am. Um, yeah, I guess we've, we've had some weird experiences. Someone, someone named their baby Jace, which was kind of crazy. Um, and then, and then there's this lovely girl who we dressed up as Lily. <laughs> Are you guys used to these screams yet? Or is it no. so? I listen to very loud music anyway, so I can't hear anything. Ah, so it works. Every time Jamie walks into the room, Lily and I both scream like that for him. Really? Yeah, and usually I'm the one fainting. <laughs> but this time another girl got to do it. I love it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I have questions from you guys. You guys might have filled them out earlier. You So the first question is from David from Chicago. This question is for Lily. What was the hardest scene to film? Oh. <laughs> Get it all out now. We love you! We love you! Um, hardest scene to shoot? Uh, probably the Hotel de Mort sequence. 
the big action sequence between all of the Shadowhunters and myself and Simon. Um, we shot it over a series of about a week, all night shoots, so three, four, five in the morning. And I'm doing all the action in um, a very short, tight dress and five inch thigh high leather boots. Um, I, I fall on a night out. Any girl, you know how hard it is to even walk in heels, let alone kick butt. Um, so that was pretty difficult. I can imagine, yeah. And also, too, it takes a long time to just film something maybe really simple, right? Yeah, I mean, we're doing, sh you know, shot after shot after shot, time and time again, just trying not to twist an ankle. Right. Okay, now this one is for Jamie. What was the most dangerous thing you had to do on set? Most dangerous thing I had to do on set? Um, let's have a think. There were a lot of dangerous things that I did on set, not necessarily that I had to do. Um, One of those, maybe. Tur turning up was pretty dangerous. Um, I suppose, I mean, there were a lot of stunts. I did, I did pretty much, I did all of my own stunts but one. Um, so I think the most dangerous was the table flip, probably. Like, we shot it, we rehearsed it like, woo! We rehearsed it like three, twice. The first time I overshot the table, the second time I undershot the table, and then I was like, okay, well we should just roll on this one because the law of averages states that I'll make it like square into the middle. So we rolled and I made it. And do you know what's awesome though is that these guys hung around and watched, like waited for me to do it. And like, it was really like a team effort. And I don't know, like yeah, I did it, but they were there and I got, you know, and there's a video and they're all like clapping and it just makes me really happy. Kevin, do you, yes, do you remember any pranks played while filming? Pranks? Um, we, we joked around a lot, I mean, we, we, we all worked, you know, really long hours on this film, so, um, you know, we make a lot of voices. What's that? The dance. The dance? Remember the, the subway? Oh, yeah. We did do one take when we were walking through the subway. It was at the very end of the night where it was in slow motion as we're walking through, and we all decided to do our sort of Zoolander walks towards Wait, the can you show us? Do you guys want to show? <laughs> right? That is so me. <laughs> so <laughs> me. It will be on do the DVD it. extras, I'm sure. It is, it's on there actually. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so Lily, what trait in Clary do you admire the most? Um, yeah, trait. Um, I think determination, because um, throughout this entire story, she goes through who, what, when, where, why five million times, and um, she never gives up, and she never lets herself be a victim, and she continues on, whether it's through the romance, through the drama, through the action, and she never lets herself fall victim to anything, and she's very determined. And this one is from Lauren from Chicago. Jamie, this is for you. What was your funniest behind the scenes moment while filming? Was it the Zoolander dance? The funniest behind the scenes moment? <laughs> oh, I, I fluff up lines quite often. And I say, I, say things that, I say things that might sound wrong, that sound a bit, let's just say, explicit when they shouldn't be explicit. Um, and it was whilst we, were, whilst we were in the city of Bones. I'm not going to say what it is, because it's terribly rude. Um, but we, we, it took a few takes to get it right, put it that way. And uh, poor uh, Collins over here had to deal with me being basically an idiot for, for about half an hour. Well, actually about four and a half months. <laughs> oh, I'm sure many would love to be in her position, so don't worry. <laughs> Now this one is for all of you. What do you think you brought out most of your characters? What do we bring out most in our characters? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think I think we, especially having in retrospect, we're all sort of a lot like the characters that we play. I mean, um, there's a lot of me and Alec. There's a lot of Jamie and, and Jace, and uh, obviously Clary and Lily. But um, so, you know, I think when Harold cast the film and when the studio hired us, 
I think there was inherently a lot of uh, a lot of the things that the characters needed, we, we sort of have. And, um, that's always, at least for me, when I watch a film, kind of what you're looking for is for people to not have to manufacture too much. And, and so, I mean, I'm not a great fighter, but I became one. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What about Lily for you? Um, uh, I think maybe her adventurous side, like the why not? instead of the why, the why not, um, because I think at the beginning of the story she's so against going with Jace and finally she breaks down and it becomes this whole story of if I don't do this then I, I'm never going to find my mom and, and you know what's the good in that, so she becomes this more, she becomes more open to adventure and I think that I in turn as Lily was more open to adventure during the movie. Jamie? Um, these guys are going to kill me because I say this the whole time. Uh -oh. Vulnerability. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess in the books, you know, Jace is very... He, he can turn on a dime and he, uh, he's got this light-hearted element to him, but I, I really focused on, on his sarcasm and on his, on his sort of, I don't know, his cockiness a little bit more than perhaps the books focuses on. Um, just because when he opens up to Clary, it makes it more obvious as to why he's been like that, and then that's the vulnerable side of him. Um, and then through that, finding the comedic elements that he has, a lot of the comedic elements that are in the movie that Jace has were sort of ad-libbed and little things I just threw in at the end, so... You are, Mom. Love it! Okay, this one's from Evelyn from Lions. She's wondering... Oh, hey, girl. She's wondering for you, Lily, did you do your own stunts? Um, I did a lot of them. I have an amazing stunt double um, who actually was with me on Mirror Mirror. two things they wouldn't let me do, one of which was being flung high speed into a wall. For some reason they wouldn't let me do that one. Um, but I, I got to do a lot of training. Um, we did about three months of training prior to filming and then every day on set. So I did get to do a majority of my stunts. Um, yeah, bar one. So it was this, really fun. This girl can keep up with the boys, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, she can really, she can really... I feel like I officially became Jace. Is there a moment? I suppose when I was cast, probably. <laughs> probably was the time. I don't know, like, it's, I guess for me it's once you, like, put the costume on, once you're there, like, I get very nervous when I go to work anyway, because I'm always thinking I'm going to screw up. I always think that somebody's going to try and find me out, that I'm not really meant to be doing what I'm, like, there to do. I'm like, oh, oh dear. Um, so, I suppose, like, when you put the costume on, when you're there, and that first scene, that first take. In fact, the first scene is, the first scene that we shot all together, when my first day, and your first day too, but annuals, first day of shooting, is that little bit that you saw just there when we're walking down, walking down the street towards, uh, towards Clary's house. Um, and so that, for me, was like, that was like, okay, so this is actually happening now. Like, this is, we're making this film. This is, it's been, it was, you know, it's been like two and a half, two years, a year and a half maybe for me, so. And it's been like two years for you. So yeah, that's when. All right, this one's from Maggie from Glendale Heights. <laughs> Kevin. Yeah. What scene are you looking forward to shooting in the city of ashes? Sorry, I just realized I think I've split my pants. We went to Giordano's for dinner. Which is That'll do it. Uh, what was the question? Uh, it was, what scene are you looking forward to shooting in the city of ashes? Well, I mean, uh, I think, you know, there's a lot of Magnus stuff in the, in the second. Um, but, you know, I think we've all, <laughs> Jamie's red. Um, <laughs> but uh, we've all sort of kept uh, in pretty good shape. I mean, I, I think we've all 
once we knew, I think we found out a couple of months ago that we were doing the second film, um, you know, there's a lot more uh, action in the second film, so I think we've all kind of, now that we've sort of been there and done that with the first film, I think we realize how much more there is to do, and, and uh, you know, kind of, I'm looking forward to sort of coming in and kicking some more butt, you know, coming in sort of physically in better shape than, I, than the last one is, you know, kind of what, I, that's all I can focus on right now. We don't even, we haven't seen a script, so. Are you good? Do you want to turn your chair? Are you, are you no, it's chair? Not, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's fine for now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, this is from Tori from Lancaster. Lily, when you read this series, what was your favorite and what is your favorite scene in that book? Um, I'm going to have to say the first. Is that, that your question? Oh, thank you. Um, I'm going to have to say the first book because it's the moment that, you know, it's the moment that Clary figures out she's not who she thought she was and she's a shadow hunter and she kind of has to go from there throughout these series and find her voice and grow confident and become a shadow hunter. So the first one, she also meets these characters and it's it's kind of more of that introduction to the story. Um, and as a fan of the series and a fan of the first book, uh, I'm going to be very girly and have to say the greenhouse See? and you find out things as Clary. And find out this. That's, yes, that's the other side. Look at that. It's incest. I ship incest. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So I just, I think, I, I hope it lives up to your expectations. Was it kind of cool to see Lily? You read the books. Was it cool to see certain scenes play out and how they set things yeah, up? Yeah, I think, um, I, I've always loved reading fantasy books, and when I read them, I create a movie in my head. And the first time I walked onto the Institute Library set was the first time I really felt like I'm in the book. So to see these scenes play out and to have moments with Kevin's character and with Jamie's character, it really, it brought the, like these scenes way more to life for me. And I never knew there was going to be so much action for me to be involved in. Um, so it was, it was a very pleasant surprise. Cool. Okay, Jamie. If you could get any rune tattooed, which one would it be? Um, Fearless is dope. Fearless is pretty cool. I, I really, I also, the, the one that I really like the design of is the is the wedded rune. I, I love that. It's, it's very, it's very beautiful. I like that. Um, sight's pretty dope. Um, I'd get them all, I guess. Like, if I, if I, if I was really, Hardcore. I get them all on my face. Do you have a couple of your own though? I do, I have yeah. nine. I have two new ones on my fingers. I, have I noticed that earlier. Some on my legs, I have some on my chest, on my arms. So what, sorry? I have Bob Dylan on my derriere. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's not to say anyone should go out there and get tattoos. Just ask your parents first. <laughs> Unless you're old enough, whatever. Then it's your call. Good advice. Okay, Stephanie from Woodstock's instructed me to look on the back, and this one is from Kevin. I'm Kevin. From Wood, I'm from Woodstock. No way! I'm not Woodstock from here, but I'm from oh, Woodstock. Oh, okay. I was Kevin! Alright, Alec is a very strong character who grows up a lot throughout the series. How does it feel to play a character with such ordinary troubles? Such as trying to come out to your parents and not being afraid of who you are. You know, it was, I have to be honest, I mean, it was something that, uh, that going into the film, it was, you know, you try to create a character and you try to create a character that, you know, Alec is a pretty sort of beloved character from these, from these books, obviously. Um, and I think the pretty universal theme, I think, with him and his sexuality is that most young people feel kind of out of place all the time. Uh, I certainly did, so um, I think his sexuality was just sort of something that, uh, you know, for me, especially in retrospect, I wanted to create a really strong character, not somebody who was very stereotypical of what people might expect from a gay character, you know, he's a 
he, his sexuality is far down the list of things that are, are, are most important to him. He's a very strong, and to be honest, I wanted to, you know, for some 15 or 16 year old kid from Chicago to be able to, who hasn't come out of the closet, to say, oh, well, if that's what being gay is, then, you know, if that's what, uh, you know, if that's all that, if, if I can be like that, then then it's not it's not as bad as people have made it sound. So, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely something that I'm proud to have, to have been a part of because I think it's not that big a deal for, for you guys, you know? For sure. Woo! Good question and good answer. So, all of these are really good questions. Do you have anything else you guys want to say? Thank you so fans? much, by the way, for coming. Thank you. Thank you, really. It, it means, I mean, I'm not gonna, yeah, it means a lot to us that we get to come out here and we get to see you guys because without you guys, we wouldn't be able to be here. So it means so much to us that you all came out and we want to go see the movie. So thank you and we love you. Be sure to see the Mortal Instruments City of Poets.